This is Nick Horvath with Stalls TV. CADWorksLive.com is free online design software for use with your computer. There's a program called VectorCut that allows you to communicate with your cutter through CADWorksLive.com. I'm going to show you how to set that up with your GraphTech CE6000. The first thing you want to do once you're logged in is go down to Support and find Downloads. You'd click on Downloads and then click on the download now under the CADWorks Live Vector Cut Cut Driver. Depending on what type of browser you have, it'll either come up automatically or you'll have to click on it to get it running. And then click Run. And then it'll take you through the installation process. Okay, and now to launch Vector Cut and set it up for your graph tech. Okay, the first thing you want to make sure you do is on your graph tech cutter, you want to change it to the HPGL mode. Make sure it's on that. And then under the drop down menu under cutter and vector cut, select generic HPGL. And then click on properties. Then you want to click on the port column. And then you want to click on printer port. And then use this drop down menu to select your GraphTech CE6000. Once you do that, click OK and vector cuts all ready to use with your GraphTech cutter. CADWorksLive.com is a very powerful tool to use at your computer in designing, but you do need to set up vector cut with your cutter to use it successfully. This is Nick Horvath with Stalls TV.